how's it going, friends? Thank you for tuning in to VR Revelations. Welcome. Please make sure you give this video a like and make sure you subscribe for future coverage. Also, if you want to support the channel, check out the links down below in the description. So, it is March 8th, the year of our Lord, 2023, and we have some uh, breaking news here from just a couple of hours ago. We have multiple sources reporting on a, a wave of missile strikes across Ukraine. As you can see here, the New York Times, uh, CNNBC is reporting on this. Explosions reported in central Kyiv and across Ukraine in early morning attacks. And we're going to be taking a read at this report from Al Jazeera here. And then we're also going to be taking a look at the uh, pro-Ukrainian map, uh, the live UA map. They've also... Um, covered the areas of these missile strikes. Now, this is pretty interesting uh, because we know there's fierce fighting going on in Bakhmut. That's pretty much uh, already surrounded. Looks like Zelensky has doubled down uh, on Bakhmut uh, stubbornly. And so the forces there um, continue to, you know, fight in that meat grinder. And this is a major blunder for Zelensky. But we hadn't seen a major... Uh, or major missile strikes, or a wave of missile strikes from Russia since, I believe, February. So it's pretty interesting uh, that we're seeing another massive wave of missile strikes across Ukraine. This could be a sign that Russia is looking to uh, launch uh, another operation possibly aimed at Kiev at the capital. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at this article here. So it says, Russia fires barrage of missiles on Ukraine cities, officials say. Uh, missile attacks hit energy facilities in Odessa and objects of critical infrastructure in Kharkiv, governor, uh, governors say. So this is coming from the Ukrainians themselves. We actually have a picture here. It says, three Russian rockets launched against Ukraine from Russia's Belgorod region as seen at the dawn as seen at dawn in Kharkiv, Ukraine, on Thursday, March 9th, 2023. Remember, guys, the time zones are a little bit different here. So um, over here in the uh, uh, North America, it's currently uh, March 8th, but you can see over there uh, these rockets were launched on Thursday. So it continues here. Russia has unleashed, unleashed a barrage of missiles on cities across Ukraine, including the capital Kiev, the Black Sea port of Odessa, and the northeastern city of Kharkiv, according to Ukrainian officials and media reports. The missile attack set off air, uh, air raid sirens all across Ukraine early on Thursday. In Kiev, uh, Mayor Vitaly Klitschko reported explosions in the city's southern Holosivsky district. All services heading to the spot, he wrote on social media. In eastern Ukraine, 15 missiles struck the city of Kharkiv and the outlying region, hitting residential buildings, according to Governor Oli uh, Zenyhubov. He promised to reveal more details about the scale of the damage or any casualties in Ukraine's second largest city. Remember, uh, often uh, Ukraine has claimed that a lot of these missiles have been aimed at re residential buildings. Uh, but we saw that uh, a former advisor to Zelensky got fired because he said that one of these missiles that landed on a residential uh, apartment building was actually shot down by uh, Ukrainian air defenses. So that is likely what happened in this situation also. Objects of critical infrastructure is again in the crosshairs of the occupants, he said in a Telegram post. Kharkiv Mayor Ir uh, Tarakov reported on Telegram that there were problems with electricity in some parts of the city. In the Odessa region, Governor Makins uh, Marchenko said on Telegram that a mass missile attack had hit energy facilities in the port city, cutting off power. Anti-aircraft units had downed some missiles, there it is, and new attacks could follow, he said, urging residents to stay in shelters. Fortunately, there are no casualties. 
electricity restrictions are in effect, the governor added. Ukrainian railways reported power outages in certain areas. Five trains were delayed by more than one hour, and 10 trains were delayed by more than 30 minutes. Preemptive, preemptive emergency power cuts were applied in Kyiv, uh, Dnipropetrovsk, Donetsk, and Odessa regions, supplier DTEK said. Klitschko said 15% of the capital's energy consumers were without power due to the emergency power cuts. More explosions were reported in the northern city of Chernihiv and the western uh, Lviv region, as well as in the cities of Dnipro, Lutsk, and Rivne. Uh, Ukraine, Ukrainian media also reported explosions in the western region of Ivano, uh, Frakrivsk, and Chernobyl. Uh, Russia has been hitting Ukraine with massive missile attacks since last October. Initially, the barrage targeting the country's energy infrastructure took place weekly, plunging the entire, plunging entire cities into darkness, but became more spread out in time, with commentators speculating that Moscow may be saving up ammunition. The last barrage took place on February 16th. So, um, you can see here it, it has been a couple of weeks since Russia has launched a wave of missile attacks. Of course, uh, the Western media was saying that Russia was running out of ammunition. We know that is false. They continue to produce and they continue to, uh, as we're seeing here, launch these missiles all over Ukraine. And as we take a look at the Live UA map here, you can see that uh, uh, we have the areas where these missiles have been launched. Again, this map is pro-Ukrainian, so they are reporting on this. If you take a look at the right here, you can see uh, about an hour ago, um, it says air defense is active in Kyiv region again. Uh, an hour ago, explosions were reported in Kyiv Rai. Uh, an hour ago, more explosions were reported in Nipro City. And we can actually see here on the map uh, near the capital, um, uh, we see here blackouts in several regions in preparation for possible missile attacks to avoid damage to power structure. And we even see uh, uh, that some of these strikes were launched all the way over here to the western uh, area of uh, Ukraine. So we know that Russia has the ability to strike anywhere in the world, much like the United States. We know Russia has the most advanced hypersonic missiles. And so um, it's very easy for them to uh, strike anywhere they'd like inside of Ukraine. And it's pretty obvious here that they are not running out of missiles. But it is very interesting that, uh, you know, they launched this wave of uh, missile strikes. Um, again, there are tensions right now taking place between Ukraine and Belarus. Uh, Belarus has accused Ukraine of uh, sending in saboteurs. Uh, into the country. Um, the Belarusian president actually just launched an operation. I think they detained about 20 Ukrainian saboteurs in Belarus. Now, Ukraine is denying it. They're saying that uh, this is pretty much a false flag attack by Belarus, uh, trying to give themselves a reason to uh, support uh, Ukraine in its war, uh, uh, to support Russia in its war against Ukraine. Uh, but again, Belarus, everybody knows that Belarus supports and has been supporting uh, Russia. As a matter of fact, uh, the president of Belarus, Lukashenko, came out and said that uh, Ukraine is trying to draw Belarus into a, uh, a direct conflict against Ukraine and that it's not going to work. They're not going to allow themselves to be dragged into the war by these uh, saboteurs. Now... We just saw a, another uh, attack like this by saboteurs uh, in the Bryansk re region in Russia. And again, Ukraine denied uh, that it was them. They said it was actually uh, some, you know, Russian citizens turning on uh, its government. But again, this is all coming from the same people that said Russia destroyed uh, their own pipelines, the Nord Stream pipelines, which we now know are was false. We know it was the United States. As a matter of fact, the United States and Germany just threw Ukraine under the bus. And uh, I believe the New York Times 
and a German uh, newspaper reported that it, it was probably Ukraine who blew up the Nord Stream pipeline. So uh, again, they're throwing Ukraine under the bus. But uh, these uh, these saboteurs, I suspect personally, they are in fact uh, Ukrainian, and they probably are trying to draw Belarus into the conflict. Probably thinking that uh, if the West and NATO see this, then they are more likely to join the war directly. Uh, but even if Belarus were to attack Kiev directly, which is very likely, I doubt that NATO and the U.S. Uh, would declare war or would actually uh, go into Ukraine with boots on the ground. So looks like Zelensky is resorting to desperate measures here. Um, but again, the Russians, as we see here, uh, are planning something. Um, the fact that they're striking... Uh, these energy infrastructures across Ukraine right now as they're getting ready to uh, take control of Bakhmut completely down here is pretty interesting. Again, guys, I do believe personally that Russia will have to launch an attack on the capital, uh, Kiev. Um, now, they just launched an attack here via these missiles on the capital, but I'm talking about boots on the ground like we saw at the beginning of the conflict. And so I think that we could see uh, an operation aimed at the capital through Belarus once again. Uh, that is my opinion, and I think that Russia will have to do that. And again, um, <clears throat> just a quick update here on Bakhmut. We see that the Wagner forces are at the river here inside the city now. So uh, uh, the situation is just getting worse by the day here for Zelensky. And I think he's trying to find some way to uh, garner more support from the Western powers um, and NATO, uh, the United States. Uh, he continues to beg for fighter jets. And so looks like he's now resorting to these uh, saboteur tactics here. And uh, he might be trying to draw Belarus into the conflict. Uh, but what I think might happen is that, as Lukashenko said, he's not going to allow himself to be dragged into a direct conflict against uh, Ukraine. Uh, but I do think that we might see an operation here soon by Russian forces aimed uh, at the capital. And these missile attacks could be a sign uh, that Russia is getting ready to launch an offensive here on the uh, northern side uh, of Ukraine. But anyways... That's going to be it for this uh, video, guys. Just a short, quick video on this breaking news here. Again, uh, please make sure you give this video a like and make sure you subscribe. And remember, the truth is stranger than fiction. Thank you for tuning in. Have a wonderful day and God bless.